the first Artemis robotic launch to the moon, an Artemis lunar robotic rover is halfway built, and an up-close look at a volcanic moon, a few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. United Launch Alliance and Astrobotic are currently targeting no earlier than January 8th for the launch of Astrobotic's Peregrine Lunar Lander to the moon. NASA payloads aboard the lander aim to help the agency develop capabilities needed to explore the moon under Artemis. This is the first commercial robotic launch to the moon's surface as part of our CLIPS initiative and Artemis program. The team building our Viper Lunar Rover is about halfway through the build. The mobile robot will land at the south pole of the moon in late 2024 to search for ice and other potential resources. The critical information it provides will teach us about the origin and distribution of water on the moon and help determine how we can harvest the moon's resources for future human space exploration. Our Juno spacecraft recently flew by Jupiter's moon Io. The spacecraft captured imagery and other data as it passed about 930 miles above the surface of the most volcanic world in our solar system. This was the closest flyby of Io that any spacecraft has made in over 20 years. For more about Juno, go to nasa.gov Juno. While stationary during Mars Solar Conjunction, our Curiosity rover on Mars captured a 12-hour sequence showing its own shadow moving across the planet's surface. Plasma from the Sun can interfere with radio communications during Mars Solar Conjunction, so missions hold off on sending commands to Mars spacecraft during that time. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.